The Friday Night Funk and Tales Halloween mod just dropped, and it was created by a modder named Red Pansy, and it was heavily influenced by a creator named Boom Buster BB. He's an old school animator that's been on YouTube for like 10 years plus. Each of the songs is related to a different animation created by Boom Buster. So in this video, I want to look at each of the songs and identify how they relate back to their original animation and some fun facts about the mod in general. Now, Boom Buster's animations, and of course this mod in general, are based heavily off the creepypasta Sonics.exe. Sonics.exe is definitely the main antagonist in the mod and in the animated series and he is described as basically believing that he is a god and is supposed to be a demonic version of Sonic. In the description of Sonics.exe he's also described as being very demented, very demonic and he doesn't really have value for the lives of other living things. He just sees them as toys and he rips them apart as he sees fit. Now in the original creepypasta and the creepypasta game there are three characters that get brutalized by Sonics.exe. We have Tails of course, Knuckles, and then we have Dr. Robotnik. Now a huge change from the creepypasta that was brought into the animation and this mod is that the would-be victims of Sonics.exe don't simply just take his abuse, they actually fight back in this mod and they win. It makes sense that Tails was the first character to have an animation made of him and is the first character to be put in the mod because he was technically the first victim of Sonics.exe. In the animation we see that all Tails is doing is trick-or-treating by himself trying to get a little bit of candy and that's when Sonic basically runs up on him. There's a scene here where Tails is trying to run away and we see Sonic is kind of floating after him which is a direct callback from that original creepypasta where Sonic actually chases him down in this game of hide and go seek and when he catches him in the creepypasta he basically attacks him and causes him to scream and then we assume die. Now the difference here though is that Tails actually fights back and ends up taking a cross to his eye and this is an injury that Sonic.exe will take with him into his future battle with Knuckles. Knuckles is another character that was in the creepypasta that ends up being a victim to Sonic. Sonic basically asks him to play a game of tag with him and Knuckles is trying to catch him but it's not quick enough to actually get him because as we know he can kind of just teleport and blink out of existence. And of course in the creepypasta Knuckles is completely overpowered and destroyed by Sonic.exe but in the actual animation and in the mod Knuckles is able to fight back because he finds an invincibility box which allows him to go toe to toe with Sonic.exe and if we're being honest before he got that he was kind of getting worked on a little bit. One funny thing that I love about this scene is that Knuckles beats up Sonic so bad that he ends up knocking the coins out of him and he also knocks him back to the edge of a cliff where Sonic ends up slipping down and people think that he's actually dead at that point but as the scene continues we see that he's actually hanging on to the side of the rock wagging his finger and I mentioned this because in the comments of the original video there were so many comments about how it ended on a cliffhanger. I had to hear the bad joke so now I'm giving it to you as well. Now you would think after taking two else that Sonics.exe would be done but he actually goes on to confront Dr. Eggman next. Now in the actual mod we just see Dr. Eggman in his final form we'll say which is that giant robot but there is actually a little bit of backstory before that. Basically Dr. Eggman stole this Chaos Emerald and he's trying to collect a few more so that he can make this Eclipse Cannon that will basically allow him to take over the world. Now Sonic.exe hears about him having this crystal and he comes up to outer space to take it from him. Now interesting enough Dr. Eggman actually puts up a very good fight even before he gets to his super robot. And in Sonic's defense I mean Dr. Eggman does have a little mini army of little robots that are able to help him fight. Now something I find very interesting that was in the animation that we don't get to see in the mod is that when Dr. Eggman is running away from Sonic, Sonic is not actually able to catch him. Dr. Eggman just puts on the willies and literally outruns him. And I find this interesting because in the original creepypastas, Tails and Knuckles were not fast enough to get away from Sonic, but for some reason Dr. Eggman was. Now I'm assuming that Boom Buster does this to kind of just show that he's having fun and just using a little bit of that creative freedom. But till this day, one of my favorite quotes from that series is when Sonic is on his knees and he's like, how can a fat guy run that fast? Because even he recognizes how ridiculous it is. Now the end of this animation is where the mod actually kind of takes place. It's where Sonic is fighting against this giant robot. And I'm sure by this point, you know that Sonic's exe is losing all of these fights and this one is no different the robot ends up stomping on him and basically sending him out to space leaving dr robotnik to be the victor here now obviously sonic isn't dead or even beaten per se but he does get defeated for a time by each of these characters which i find is a very interesting choice considering that he's supposed to be all powerful one note that i'll make here that is different between the mod and the animation is that in the mod we see that he's on this little floating disc type thing but in the actual animation he ends up destroying this 
thing and he's on the ground when he's fighting against Dr. Robotnik. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the screen here and check out the video where I fully explain the new Gorefield mod or click the video here where I explain the Vivian Plague mod. Thank you for watching. This is Oris, of course. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Peace, peace.